Hello and welcome to all you Aquarians. This is your monthly horoscope for Aquarius of September 2020. Thank you so much for watching. This is a video that I hope not too long, just a five minute video where I'm going to talk about what's going on for you Aquarius in general. And you can watch it together with, if you haven't done already, with the Mars retrograde videos that I made a couple of weeks ago. So, what is this month all about? Precise, concise, two things. Mars going backwards and Jupiter going direct. Now, a little detail that is a bit more specifically for the Aquarians is that Venus is in your opposite sign, which is fantastic. So let's start with the biggie, you know, the big stuff, which is the Mars um, retrograde. On the 10th of September, Mars goes backwards. So Mars has been uh, trying to um, put something new in that, in that third house of yours. And it, it probably, during the month of July, August, it probably didn't go the way you wanted it to go. Certainly not fast enough, because Mars in Aries really wants to go forwards. It's very busy in the third house. The third house is a communication house. So probably um, a bit busier than, than, than usual, but with not that much of a result. And, um, but also it could mean with siblings or with neighbors, there are some stresses there, things that you want to say, but you feel a bit suppressed, um, that, um, is this a thing that I can say by your unconsciousness even, uh, because that Saturn there and Pluto is in your 12th house of the unconscious. Now I've told in those many other videos, uh, July and August, that this is for a reason. So don't think that um, the universe is giving you a hard time, that you cannot express what you need to express. That's not true. It is for a reason that um, you are holding, you, you know, things are not going as fast as you want them to go. Um, and have a bit of trust in that can help you to, um, understand that there is a timing for everything. This is really crucial because the other very positive influence that you have is Jupiter in your 12th house going direct. And this is that unconscious house. So um, it's a very spiritual house as well. So it can help you that spirituality of understanding. It's a hard practice though. I mean, I certainly find it a hard practice that when things go a bit rough, Again, considering your communication, considering siblings, considering people around you, uh, people that you work with and, um, you know, the things are not going as you want them to go or you want to launch a new website or you want to learn something new. That's also the third house, a new skill, um, wanting to, to study or, or whatnot. All these things are quite slowed down. But know that this has a spiritual meaning and um, that, that the, the universe is way smarter than just your individual consciousness. It humbles people. Um, it humbles you. And when you know that, uh, it's really about, about even when you feel that you're not in alignment at the moment, and a lot of people feel like that, um, that you know that you will be in alignment. And this is actually to get into alignment again and to understand that the universe has a certain clock and that the universe has a certain way of you going uh, towards a certain way. It's not just your will, it's also the will of the universe. And and really, that that's the thing, Jupiter in the 12, that's the thing that's gonna help you. You know, for some people, it's, it's something else. It can be a person, it can be work uh, or whatnot. But for you, it's definitely that, that spiritual knowing, that knowing that actually all is well, as it's supposed to be. Um, on another level, so with Mars going retrograde around the 10th of September, it means you're, you're getting a little bit of a pause. So you're getting a little bit of reassessing what happened in July and August. And also it's not it's not going to be, um, it, it will seem as everything is like stagnated or things go even backwards, but it's not. It's a, a part of a process. I, I, this is, of course, only for September, but a bigger picture means that this process is really going forwards around the end of um, 
uh, of the year, uh, basically, even in the midst of November already. Now, um, but again, so use that time to pause a little bit, to reassess, to think and to analyze what has been going on, analyzing your actions, that's Mars going retrograde. And, um, but at the same time, a really nice thing, I think, is not only that Jupiter in your 12th house, so you're, you're getting that help from the universe and that understanding there, but also Venus um, in your seventh house of relationships. That is so good. Even when you're not in a relationship of, or if you are in a relationship, Venus in the seventh means that people are more gentle to you and you are more gentle to them. Uh, you perceive people in a more gentle way. It is a bit easier for you. So relationship uh, ships can give you also, because it's at the very end of the month, it trines your mass. So that could be even at the end of the month, um, maybe you're single and you could start a new relationship. And it's very passionate because it's Venus trining Mars. And it's a good communication with this person. And um, fiery communication as well. And they're going to help you with the things that you struggle with. And um, But if you are already in a relationship, that simply means you're getting along. You're getting along better than you used to, for instance. There is an improvement of that. And you're seeing more the beauty of relationships. So that's a very, very good thing that already starts around the 7th of September. Beautiful people that you're going to attract with Venus in your 7th, male or female, doesn't matter. And um, that's not, and gentle people, charming people, and in Leo, quite attractive as well. Anyway, have a very good month, dear Aquarians. Thank you so much for watching and see you next month.